What is going on everybody? My name is Ethan. Welcome back to Hard Cap Gaming and welcome to episode number one of our Pokemon Emerald version randomizer Nuzlocke version. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of words. So if you have never joined us before, uh, welcome. My name is Ethan. This is Hard Cap Gaming. Uh, I know I'm still a relatively new channel, but uh, I will say Pokemon is one of my personal favorite games. I play Pokemon a lot. Uh, and this is my personal favorite game, but I've never done a Nuzlocke. I've never done a randomizer of this game. So I think this is going to be a really, really interesting experience, you know. So uh, to get started with, I think, you know, let's just jump right into it. You know, if so, let's explain the Nuzlocke rules before that I will be enacting. Number one, this is a randomizer, which means that every single Pokemon will be random. Uh, the starters will be random. The encounters will be random. Legendaries will be randomized to other legendaries. Non-legendaries will be randomized to other non-legendaries. So when we finally get to Rayquaza and the others, uh, hopefully, first off, we catch them, but they will be another legendary. So we could get a Moltres, or we can get Mewtwo then. But at other points throughout the, our journey, we could encounter those Pokemon as well. Number two, it is a Nuzlocke. If you don't know what a Nuzlocke is by now, uh, I, I apologize, but a Nuzlocke means that if... A Pokemon that we have in our party faints. If I'm a bad trainer or if I get hit with a crit and, I, and our Pokemon dies. Ooh, let's go back to the main menu. If our Pokemon dies, then unfortunately that does mean that it is dead. We can no longer use it. That's the, that's the end of the road for our Spinda or whatever. I don't really know what we'll have in this game. Uh, hopefully we get some good things. Number two, I have to nickname every single Pokemon that we catch. And number three, you can only catch the first Pokemon on every route. If you fail to catch it, then you don't get one for that route. It's unfortunate. Uh, and the challenge does not start until we are given Pokeballs. So at the beginning, we'll be actually be going through Route 1 and Route 2. Um, actually, you know, I think they're Route 101 and 103, technically, is the numbers for them. Uh before we get Pokeballs. So any encounters that happen then do not count. It only counts once Professor Birch gives us Pokeballs. So that being said, let's just jump right into it, you know? Um, let's just see what this game has in store for us. I will not be using the speed up unless I have to grind. Um, well, let's, let's just jump right into it, you know? I'm super excited to do this. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, and finally just getting going on, you know? All right. Professor Birch. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. That's a cloister. <laughs> this world is wildly, widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon as time, at times as friendly playmates and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, you I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? Alright. Uh, we're going to use the boy trainer. Uh, his name is normally Brandon, but, you know, my name is Ethan. So we're going to go with that. There we go. My name is Ethan. Ah, okay. Your Ethan is moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. All right, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. All right. 
Well, let's get going. So we are starting. If you've never played Gen 3 before, Gen 3 is the game that I actually started on. Uh, this was my first ever Pokemon game. Uh, was Pokemon Emerald. Um, back in freshman year of high school, uh, my friend Matt um, was playing on an emulator in between classes, and I said, "Oh, what? What is that?" And he's like, "Oh, it's Pokemon. Have you ever played it before?" And I said, "No, I've never played Pokemon before." Um, my parents didn't really let me and he's like, oh, well here, I'll get you an emulator. And I gave him my phone. He got me an emulator in three seconds and five seconds later, I was playing this game. <laughs> um, and I, I've, I've loved this game ever since then. I know I'm very late to the party on that. That was about 2013, um, that I got going on this, but, uh, I've played every single Pokemon game except for. Sinnoh, actually, coincidentally, and Sinnoh remakes were just announced a couple weeks back. So, uh, hopefully when that comes out, maybe we'll do a playthrough on this channel. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure at this point, if at that point, if if this channel is still going, which I'm assuming it will be, I don't see why it would stop, uh, then I'm assuming that we will do a playthrough. So let's just hop out of the truck real quick, and let's talk to our mom. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Ethan, we're here, honey. It must be tiring riding with all of our things in the moving truck. Yeah, why can't I sit in the front? Why did the Machamp get to be up front? Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you, you get your own room, Ethan. Let's go inside. Cool. All right, let's go. See, Ethan, isn't it nice in here, too? The movers, Pokemon, do all the work. Yeah, okay. It's so convenient. My room is upstairs. Go check it out. And let's go set our clock. All right. The clock is stopped. Better set it and start it. So it is currently 6.02 p.m. Just about time for dinner. So oh, we have to wait for this to go all the way around. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah, 6.02. Perfect. How do you like my new room? I don't know. I'm probably only, only going to be in it one more time this entire game. If and that's when we beat the game. Make sure everything's all set on my desk. Yep. One of PC, item storage. Oops, not deposit. Does this game give me a potion? It does give me a potion. I forgot about that. All right, let's go. Let's go downstairs and talk to mom. Oh, what's on the TV? Come quickly, come quickly. It's Petalburg Gym. Maybe dad will be on. We bring you this interview and we brought you this report from in front of the Petalburg Gym. Uh, well, dad's off. That's unfortunate. One of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor, Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. All right, let's do that. Well, he lives here. Uh, I do think I... Do I need to talk to May first? Yeah, okay, I do. It's been a while since I actually played this game. I think the last time I played this game... It might have been almost two years ago at this point. Um, I do. I love coming back to it, though. I I don't know what it is about this game over Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, I don't really care. Um, but I don't know. I, I just like this one more. I've played Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald, and I've, I've played Emerald probably about five or six times at this point. Uh, and every time I do it, I try to get a different team. But I always just do a normal playthrough. But And I always end up with the same Pokemon at the end of the day anyways. Um, so I'm excited to do a randomizer, which I've actually never done. I'm surprised I've never done one before. Uh, or a Nuzlocke, for that matter. It's my first ever Nuzlocke. Um, but I, I like to think that I'm pretty decent at playing this game that's made for younger individuals than myself. So who's to say? Uh, I'm just going to quickly get through May's text here because I don't especially care because she's not saying anything important. All right, now we can go outside. And this is the most important part of the game right here is our starter choice. I hope we get a good one. Um, I, I did set it so that our starter will be a Pokemon that has a three, a two stage evolution. So it'll, it'll evolve twice. Um, so that means that we could get a pseudo legendary, but that also means that we can get Wurmple. So worst case scenario would be, would be we get like Beedrill and Talo. <laughs> Uh, but I did this that way so that we cannot get like a Reggie seal that only knows explosion. Let's see. Aeron. Interesting. Okay. Yo, Torchic and Nidoran. So 
that evolves with a stone. I don't feel like taking a stone Pokemon. I hope you forgive me. I love Nidorina and Nidor Queen. <sighs> but I mean, I in this scenario, right? Aaron doesn't evolve until level like 55 or something crazy late, like 45. Whereas Torchic. Torchic's a starter. So let's go Torchic. Let's take Torchic. Hopefully we don't lose this first fight because that would be. All right. It's still, it's still a Zigzagoon. I guess that this part didn't get randomized. So. It's going to scratch. Let's just start, you know, using status moves for losers. Zigzagoon. Uh, watch me lose to this Zigzagoon because I told him that. Scratch. He's going to do it again. I'm going to have to scratch two more times. You jerk. Okay. Any tackles. Easy wins. This Torchic is awesome. Wow. 17 points. How good. So, I, I know a lot of times people hate, hate when uh, you do a lot of grinding. However, I don't know what's in this game. I don't know what's here. So, as long as the challenge hasn't started yet, I'm going to grind up that Torchic. Um, that means that he has an Aeron. Or she has an Aeron, I should say. And I did set it so that she'll keep that Aeron throughout, which means that we'll have... We'll, we'll be super effective against it by the time it's a blaze again. Uh, I don't have my own Pokemon. Yeah, you're right. I don't. Guess I have my father's blood in my veins after all. Yeah. What, did you think I wasn't? Cool. Give me the Torchic. All right. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Because now I need to come up with a name for this Torchic. So I don't normally play Torchic. Uh, I normally play Swampert because I know everyone likes Mudkip, but you know I like Mudkip too. Um, I always go KFC when I name Torchics, but I, I don't especially know what I want. So let's go with, huh? So if any if any of you watch Patty Trills, what he always does is he chooses. Oops, wrong button. He chooses the first two letters, and then from there just goes ham. Uh, and I kind of like that method because I think it gives you funny names. Um, blah. Blatch. I don't know. I, I think it's a funny name. <laughs> so we got Blatch the Torchic. Sure, yeah, let's go talk to May. So... Challenge hasn't started yet, even though we have our first Pokemon. Uh, very similar to back in the first gen days, where you had to go run that errand for uh, Professor Oak. So let, let's just see what we got, you know? You never know what you got here. Gligar! That's useless. I love Gligar, but that is completely useless. I also don't know if we can beat this thing. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping he doesn't poison me. I gotta scratch him two more times. And he only has poison sting. Oh, of course he did. Okay, so now we know there's Gligars here. But I can just run back and heal at my house. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to try and make it to the next town. Cool, level six. Uh, they'll give really cool. Ooh, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're gonna make it. Seven, eight. I think we should rest a bit. I think you're right, mom. I think we should rest a bit. All right. So now we know this Gligars. Gligar is interesting because it is a ground flying type. Um, that means it's just quad weak to ice. Let's see what else we got here. <laughs> the ice type. Jinx. I hate Jinx so much. Just got to say. 
All right, so we know there's a Jinx here. That should give me pretty good experience, actually. 39. Nice. I don't know why I keep holding down the shift key. I couldn't get my controller to connect earlier, so I'm using my con my buttons on my keyboard right now. So we'll see what happens. <sighs> All right, so whatever we get in this route is a wash. I think I also have it set so that they pretty much for in each area they replace each Pokemon with another one. So it's not like you're gonna get like it, but it's area wise, not global wise. So it's not gonna be like any time a Pugiana is randomized into a Jinx, we're gonna see Jinx throughout the entire game. No, it's not like that. It's every area it reshuffles it. So whatever Zigzagoon is here, I think it's, it might be this Relicanth. I think it's crazy. We've seen three different Pokemon so far. I don't think I can beat this thing by the way. Uh, it's a Rock type, and I only have Scratch. Um, so we'll try again, but let's see. So what else do we encounter? It's another Gligar. Okay. So the Gligar is probably the Zigzagoon on this route. So on the next route, Zigzagoon might be randomized into something else. And he's going to poison something. I'm going to get poisoned on this turn. Oh, I didn't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hell yeah. Let's go dead all right blatch level seven this should give him ember focus energy oh that's right they get ember late don't they that sucks and it's really can't think all right so this must be either the Puchian or the, Zig or the zigzag because we've only seen i mean we've only done five encounters but who knows um no let's just run to the next town let's just go for it and whatever we encounter is whatever we encounter, you know? Another Gligar. This one's female. That's a small tail. A poison sting. I'm getting so lucky with these poisons. Wow. All right. Good job, Latch. All right, and let's just talk to this guy. Let's heal real quick. Uh, being level seven is probably good enough to go. Oh no, I need to. How am I going to beat that Aeron? They have the Aeron, right? Let's talk to this guy. Let's get a potion real quick. Yeah, sure. We'll talk to you. Cause you'll give me something that's useful. Thank you for the potion. All right, let's go see what's up here on Route 103. Yeah, okay. Let's just grind up here for a sec. Eh. <gasps> I cannot catch that. There's a 0% chance that I'm able to catch this thing and or defeat it. If it has, it has Intimidate, oh my God. If it has Dragon Rage, we're done. Bite. All right, cool. I beat it. Sorry, I didn't want to speed up. But I knew we were going to be here for a while. All right, so there's Salamances on the next route. And now we're almost dead. Sorry to Pokemon to full health. Hope to see you again. All right. I'm trying to keep an eye on the clock. I don't want to make these episodes too long. I'm looking for like a 20 to 25 minute range for his episodes. That's typically what I see people do. Um, let's just talk to May. I think we'll end this after we get our first two encounters in this game. Yo, what's up? Yeah. So you have the air on, and I have my torch check, right? This should be how it works. Yep. Okay. So she has the air on, and it's still level five, and I've got Blanche. I'm gonna focus energy. 
I know I just said that don't use the status moves, but let's see if I can get a crit, because now it's hardening. Okay. I think I'm going to lose this fight. I need, to get a, I need to get like five crits. Oh, I can only use focus energy once. How would I not know that as a Pokemon trainer? I'm such a bad Pokemon trainer. Oh my god. I cannot beat this Aeron. Is it okay if I lose this match? I mean, I don't have Pokeballs yet, so it doesn't matter. The challenge isn't going to end. I haven't gotten one crit yet. This is ridiculous. And it's just going to keep hardening. I'm not going to bother using my potions, because if we lose, I'm just going to grind until we get Ember. I'll be level 11. Who cares? It got the crit before I did. That's ridiculous. I hate that. I white it out. Okay, time to grind more. Hey, look, another Salamence. It's level three. God, if... Okay, so it seems like Salamence is the common encounter, consider, considering we've seen two of them out of two encounters. Cool, level nine. So I gotta do this until I level up. Until I get Ember. Oh, hello, Pichu. We're gonna get Pichu, just watch, guys. No encounters? Cool. I need to stop being so aggressive with the speed up button. I know I said I'm not going to use it, but oops. So I think beating those Salamences is like my best way to grind because those things Pack a punch, 100%. Um, so I need him to learn Ember. That's my first issue. There we go. Alright, cool. He learned Ember. Level 10. I thought it was a little later than that, but whatever. We take those. Okay. Let's go down. Let's heal. And now we can go one shot her level five air on. <laughs> uh, I am concerned about on the second one, one sh uh, on our first encounter, one shotting whatever our encounter is. As long as it's not the Jinx, I think that Gligar is, is tough enough because Gligar wasn't built to get an evolution. And then they gave him one anyways, so like, he can definitely resist a scratch. And he's a ground type. Alright. Yeah, whatever. We've already done this. Okay. Let's go Blatch. Revenge time. Ember. Get him! <laughs> Alright. GG's. <laughs> There we go. Let's go Blatch. All right, let's go back to the Pokemon Center and heal real quick before we make our final sprint down. Uh, I think this episode is going to be a little bit longer than I originally anticipated, actually. Just looking at... Yeah. I'm already at 25 minutes or so. Well, I did take a few minutes to get everything set up, make sure it was working. So maybe it's like closer to 22 at this point. But still, I still want to keep it under 30. So let's just see. Uh, I'm going to do this. There we go. Look at that. Problem solved. 
Yeah, I don't exactly care. All right, cool. We got Pokeballs, guys. I don't know if you saw that, but we we did. Uh, so Blatch. We have five Pokeballs and a thousand dollars to our name. And mom will give us the. Yeah, cool. And now we have running shoes. All right, first encounter. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to say right now, you're not getting any screen time. All right. Uh, let's do scratch and see what happens. All right, it lived, used lovely kiss, and it put me to sleep. I hate the fact that we got Jinx here. I actually really wanted the Gligar. And it broke out? No, I, I'm not using all five of my Pokeballs on this Jinx. Well, I did. <sighs> Man, that sucks. We could have gotten Gligar. Oh, that's not a good start to a Nuzlocke. You hate to see that. Man, that... The Gligar would have saved in the ball. Just saying. Jinx. Alright, let's go burn all of our money, I guess. Just saying, actually. Uh, nine. Um, if we get Salamence, I'm not... I'm not expecting to get any. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not expecting to catch it. And then on 103, we won't have any money. So we won't be able to get an encounter. Because I won't have any balls. Let's see. It's the Salamence. Okay. I've got two shots. I'll, I I'll give myself three. I don't know what's in the next route. Let's use Scratch. I can't use it again. That's the worst part, is that I can't use it again. Um, I don't think it has Growl either. So I guess we kind of just got to YOLO and throw a ball. No way! No! Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! All right! All right, Salamence! Welcome to the squad, dude! Oh my god! So we caught a Salamence with a Pokeball at half health. We couldn't catch, catch a Jinx at 25. Wow! I can't believe that. What a wild beginning. Oh my god. Salamence. Moon Moon. I always call them Crescent or Croissant. We're going to call this one Croissant as well. Croy. Sand. Croissant. Carl Weezer would be proud. All right. Oh my god. Let's go up here. I think we're going to get one more encounter, considering that one took not any time at all. Oh my god. Let's just save real quick. How about that? Let's save. Oh my goodness. And let's check out our sal- Let's see, let's check out Blatch. We didn't even look at Blatch. Blatch is jolly. That's bad. Well, 
lonely nature with intimidate rage bite leer and headbutt headbutt this early on is a god move all right and yes i did turn on running indoors because walking indoors is my least favorite thing all right now I, when i ever play I, whenever i play this i always look for low tad because i like low tad but i don't have that luxury wow that was fast <sighs> Guys, just want to point out, if we manage to catch this thing, our team is going to be Milotic, Salamence, and Blaziken. Now, please don't kill Blatch. <gasps> oh, So it's doing a little under a quarter. As long as it doesn't get a crit, I'm fine. I have two potions that I can use to get this done. But he only has water gun. Don't toy with me like that, my Lodic. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't be a jerk. Let's get in the ball and stay in the ball. Got a potion again. I have to potion again. That was almost really bad. All right, my. Oh, good thing I potioned. Uh, all right, this is the last chance, I guess. I will not live another one. I'm not losing Blash this fast. Get in the ball. Yes! Oh, yes! Thank God! Welcome to the squad! Oh my god, my lot of Guys, this is the cr I swear to God, this is completely random. This is not scripted content. The sports channel stuff, that's scripted content. This is not scripted content. Um... I'm going to call her Angel Hair. Even though it's a dude. I acknowledge it's a dude. All right. Uh, uh, let's go back here. Uh, we're going to wrap this episode up in just a second. I just want to save and heal and get all that done before anything happens. Before my game crashes. Before... OBS stops working. Let's save. Wow, guys, I, I can't believe that's the start that we had. Oh my god. So, let's check out Angel Hair real quick. Gentle Nature. I don't know what Gentle Nature does, but she does have Marvel scale. Um, just has Water Gun. That's what I thought. So, it wasn't like they were holding out on us or anything. Wow. All right, that's a pretty awesome episode, if you ask me. Uh, let's, uh, let's wrap this one up here before anything else too crazy happens. Uh, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Uh, comment if you are new. And make sure you subscribe so you do not miss the next episode of our Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. What an awesome start. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you later. Peace.